What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode in the Redline Racing series. In this devlog we'll be talking about everything I've done in the past two weeks and how I will be progressing from here on out. After the previous devlog, I started off by making a vehicle selection. I wanted to just keep a simple way in which I can use a static mesh that would simply switch depending on which vehicle you have selected. This was a fairly simple setup as I could just use an actor and make it use a selection node based on an index that would then switch the static mesh in the view. I had a lot of failed attempts and eventually got it working and now the challenge came how would I save this. I already set up a save game which would save your times and now I had to figure out how I would save the index to the exact same file and then reload it. It took a little trial and error but eventually I got it working so that I could change a vehicle and each time I started the game I would have the vehicle spawn again. Once I had this completed I quickly set up a normal HUD which I could say previous or next vehicle and then simply press the start button which would take me then to my test level. Sure I need to find a better way as just to open the level as this does cause a slight delay where the program hangs. This is unfortunately a feature that came with Unreal Engine and I'm trying to find ways around it. So now that I had vehicles selected and I could choose a vehicle and spawn a vehicle and load the vehicles as I was progressing, I made a duplicate vehicle of the initial racing vehicle which would be for joyride joyride will be my map in which you can just test you can test the vehicles you can drive them see how they are and just have fun with them there will be obstacles throughout and it will be like a mini racetrack as well which you can explore my plans for the next two weeks is to redo the drifting particles and work on the joyride map so that people can start playing and seeing how the vehicles handle as this will be a very big part of the game I will also be adding sounds to the vehicles, I've already started working with FMOD, I'm trying to get sounds to loop properly and to get them attached to the vehicles. This is all fairly simple but it does take time to get it all done. During these two weeks I want to work one week on getting the formula style vehicle completed or at least to a stage where I can start texturing the vehicle and bring it in. So you can look forward to the part 2 of me modeling the F1 vehicle and it's basically currently still where you saw it in part 1. So yeah, just stay tuned. If you're excited about it all, share it, like it, subscribe. See ya!